I think that's like birds, trees. Do you see birds? I think so, right? That's... I see people. Oh. 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 Size of a change crew has reached here in Shanghai, and I have Alex here to help me to maneuver Hello. through this part of the town. Yes, I am. Originally from Milan, Alex Martini has been leaving China for four years. The part of Shanghai we are visiting, the West Bank, comparable to Paris of Rive Gauche or London South Bank, is filled with modern and repurposed buildings filled with art from around China and the world. So our first stop, Kudensky, right? Yeah. So you know about him? Yes, I heard about him. I used to study something about his art in school. Really? Yeah. The pioneer of abstract art. Yeah. So look, right yeah. over there. So these are all from Kudensky's collections, personal right. collections. I didn't know he got inspiration from this. Vasily Kudensky was born in Russia and spent his later life in France. Photos and objects from his collection showing Shanghai are in fact from the French center Pompidou. And from Kudensky's personal collections and paintings, it seems like the artist developed a deep affection for Oriental arts, with some of his works showing inspiration from Chinese art, like Asian bronze sculptures. I think that's like birds, trees. Do you see birds? I think so, right? That's... I see people. Oh. I see people. <laughs> But that's interesting. That, like, how people can see different things from the same yeah. picture, right? This is what it's meant about. <laughs> but that's French, right? Yeah, from that. That from that. But I don't know, like, what is his inspiration? Why should he call this kind of, like, picture, like, calling it? Mambu, like walking, uh -huh. like promenade, is like very interesting. Why I don't get anything that has something in common with like walking, like mosquitoes. <laughs> like that's what in common with walking. <laughs> yeah. You go to walk and you get a lot of mosquitoes biting you. Yeah. Well, maybe. And we are going to see the second show, the voice of. Thing. Yeah, it's like his title probably might be like misunderstanding. Like a lot of people, <laughs> I think they were saying, "Yes, we're going to a concert, yeah, 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 listen yeah. to some music." Actually, it's not. Yeah. But actually, I think this all these pieces of art actually can can make us think about some kind of sounds. Can you see there? You can see like some musical notes, something like. Oh, that. And look at that! Yeah, and look at that. Especially at this special moment, like COVID, people cannot really travel abroad. Yeah. Yes. And actually, you hear. I think you even have like the kind of feeling that you're a tourist, like going yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to a foreign museum. Even if we still are in Shanghai, China, yeah. but we still have this kind of feeling absolutely like yeah. traveling around, exploring the world of arts. Yeah. I like the Kudensky show. The Voice of Things is a collection of works from the avant-garde in the early 20th century to more modern periods. So we just had a pretty cultural trip. Yes, we did. How do you like it? I love it. I think, like as I said before, I uh, really had like this kind of feeling that we are abroad. We are like visiting like yeah. a new museum, something we never seen before. And I really had this feeling like I am a tourist in a foreign country. And also, I found it quite interesting. It's like because here in Shanghai, Shanghai is very international. Yes, it is. But people know about like its its market. You know, yeah. there are a lot of. Uh, money-making opportunities yeah. but also there are a lot of cultural signs to the yeah. city right yeah it's true it's true but i think it's like it's very nice to have like this kind of like foreign uh pieces of art like coming to shanghai like uh you said right like it, shanghai has a lot of like uh, very big 
uh, foreign market and a lot of business and fashion industry but what about the art mm -hmm. like uh, recently in these years uh, for what I know like a lot of new museum opened and started this kind of like exhibition mm -hmm. but I wish we could have more mm -hmm. I, I still think it's not enough I yeah. want more <laughs> my thirsty of art and culture I want more and also like here in Shanghai for all the show uh, the exhibitions it's not just for local people, it's not just for Chinese. No, right? it's not. not. Uh, Expats can also visit this yes, place. Yes, of course. Of course we can. Of course. Mm. I know there is another exhibition near there. It's about like a, uh, an Italian uh -huh. painter, very famous. They actually took this piece of art from Italy and uh -huh. shipped to Shanghai. Uh -huh. And right now it is available for everybody to see until next January. Wow. And I really wanted to go. Uh -huh. I will go, you should go to, we should go to. I wish it, I wish it definitely yeah, do it. it. You know, we're going to explore more about culture and yeah. ours and probably share it with our viewers as well. Yeah, yeah we will. Definitely.